Hey Virgo, how are you? My name is Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. I've come to do your spread this week with the Fountain Tarot I have laid out for you. Your energy is insane, Virgo. I'm not even gonna lie to you. When I stepped, it's making me a little bit nauseous. It's like, mo it's like motion sickness is a little bit of what it feels like. It's really, it reminds me of when you're on a plane and you feel like the engine kick on and it's like, like and all of a sudden like everything's kind of moving and you start feeling like the elevation and like the altitude and it's it's like a really crazy feeling like I feel a little bit wild right now like even overstimulated and I stepped into your reading like very grounded and when I sat in meditation, I closed my eyes and all of a sudden it was like a swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. And it reminded me of when I was little and we used to get on um, those little like merry-go-rounds that they'd have at public parks. And all the kids would be standing on the merry-go-round or sitting on it. And then there'd be one kid that would be like holding onto one of the handles and they'd be pushing it, right? They'd be running around it, creating the momentum for everything else. And they'd let go and you just spin and you'd spin and you spin. That's what it feels like. It's like that motion sickness, things just moving really quickly. Like the you're kind of in position, but the energy around you is swirling like a cyclone. It's it's wild. If you are feeling like nauseous, a lot of this could be like ascension symptoms, but if you're feeling like nauseous or vertigo or just like like you don't quite have your sea legs, it's entirely on purpose. It's happening to you very intentionally because it feels like you've been in an energy that like you need to get out of and so it feels like there is a bigger energy coming in to basically overtake you and pull you out of whatever kind of struggle um melancholy sort of energy that you've been in let's pray <laughs> it's like I I'm gonna take a sip of water, Virgo. It is. It, it was honestly, it was really surprising to me. I almost decided not to do this reading because the energy was just so strong. It made me feel a little bit, a little queasy. <laughs> mm. Okay. All right. Let's do this, Virgo. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for bringing me and my Virgos in for this reading. I ask that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately for Virgo's highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you. We love you. We thank you always. We give you all the glory and the honor for these messages. To the utmost high, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Virgo. I'm like trying to, woo, so like I'm trying to bring, I'm trying to stabilize the energy in the environment so that way we can clearly kind of focus. It's like when you're spinning as a kid um and you need to find something still to spot so you don't get dizzy and then fall down is a little bit of that so the first two cards that had come out in your spread today were the four of coins and the ten of swords so i'm looking at this four of coins which always for me even though it's the four of pentacles it just gives it just gives off hermit energy it's the idea of things being kind of frozen, being sort of stagnant in your environment, not really seeing a lot of growth, right? Um, maybe even like your physical environment, like your work life, your home life, um, not feeling as though it, it's a firm foundation. It's like you're kind of just in this little tent and you only have like a couple of these little pentacles. So it's the idea of really kind of struggling to get by, like not feeling like you have enough. And oftentimes, we will go through very lean seasons when you were on a spiritual path. But I feel like I'm looking inside of this tent and I'm seeing you sitting here in this tent of swords. And I don't know if this is an energy that you've been in for a long time or if it's an energy that recently came in, but it's just so heavy. It just feels really heavy. It just feels like this black cloud that like you cannot escape feeling as though you can't get your head above water and so you're just kind of going through the motions like waiting for the seasons to change waiting for spring and in many ways i could see how this tent could be symbolic of sort of that cave energy it's like indigestion all of a sudden um it might it might have been really hard for you to swallow this season this might have been a, like a particularly humbling season for you virgo um but there is some like cave energy coming in here and caves are really symbolic of the womb. So you could have been going through like a very, 
it feels like it's been short but it's been extremely intense of like a death process an ego death um a spiritual death and and you're kind of waiting to be rebirthed into the world now i had the shufflemancy on for you and you had like a really interesting collection of songs you had that song by l king called america's sweetheart what do you want from me? I'm not America's sweetheart. It's a little bit of this energy of, I don't know what else I can do to get out of this situation. Like I have put in the hard work. I've laid foundation. I've fasted. I've prayed. I forget. Like I've done everything that like I was supposed to do. I can't, I can't do this anymore. Right. And then you had this song by Matthew Mole called Take Yours and I'll Take Mine, um, which is a really, I'll, I'll link, I'll choose that of all the songs. I'll link that in the cards for you at the end. Um, what's really, and it's just, just a side note, it's just like a little Easter egg, but both of those songs had banjos in them. And I was sitting here and I was listening and I was like, it's a lot of banjos, a lot of banjos for uh, Wednesday. Um, so I don't know if like you play the banjo or if you might see a banjo. I don't know if that's like a confirmation or an Easter egg for you, Virgo. But there's something significant about a banjo. I don't know if you really like folk music. I'm not sure. It seemed important. I don't know what it means. I'm just going to leave it there for you if it applies. But you have the strength card coming out. And as I'm listening to these songs, and both of those songs are very high pitched and they're very fast paced. And I got this impression, like I said, that there is an energy. It feels like you can't pull yourself out of this energy. I think in the past when you've gone through seasons like this, you have been able to pull yourself out of it, but I don't think you've been able to pull yourself out of it this time. There's just something different about it. And so an energy is coming to basically overtake the frequency of your field. It's coming over to completely pull you out of whatever it is that you've been through. And that's the strength card because I'm looking at this character on the strength card and you see how she's grabbing this face, it almost reminds me of there's this energy coming over you because your head is down in here. It's almost the idea of like, I don't even want to look at what's going on around me. Like, I don't want to see another thing go wrong. And then all of a sudden, this energy swoops in, in complete contrast to what you are and just pulls your face up. And it's like, look at it. Look around, Virgo. Look around. It's very, um. it, it reminds me of like the Christians when it's like, do you, do you, uh, do you not perceive, right? Do you not perceive what I'm doing? Do you have eyes to see? And then you have this page of wands coming out. And that seems to be what this strength card is trying to get your attention and focus it on is this page of wands. And there's this child on here and they seem to be, and you don't look happy about it at all. It's almost like, what, what do you want? Like, what is the message? What do you, it's, I get it. <laughs> I got a fire in my chart, so I get it, Virgo. But they're trying to draw your attention to your own inner child. And that brought me back to that feeling I got of being on a merry-go-round. And it's like there's a child spinning, spinning, spinning everyone else. And so there is something about your inner child, um, this aspect of your youthfulness, of your energy that seems to be sick of your shit. It seems to not want to sit in this depressing little cave with you any longer. And it almost feels like your inner child made a phone call on your behalf because it has to sit in this little tent with you and it doesn't want to do it anymore. And so this energy is drawing your attention to the fact that your inner child, this very young, youthful, devil-may-care energy is coming to sweep you up like a freight train. Now, the Nine of Swords comes out next. And so it is the idea that you're moving from the Ten to the Nine. So at least we're kind of progressing past this energy. But it's the idea is as you're looking at them, the str it's strange. The strangeness of this energy that seems to be headed towards you like a freight train it's intriguing enough that you do seem to be lifting your head up on your own, on your own. There's something interesting enough about what you're seeing energetically happening around you that allows you to at least pick your head up and focus on it independently for a moment. Now, as soon as it hits you, it falls into the two of cups. So it feels like your inner child, it's like a little, it's just like a little kid, right? It's like you see them rushing towards you and then they just stop immediately right in front of you. They're like, I have something to tell you. I have a secret. And they're like, all right, chill out. It's, it's like that. It's, it's just like how a little kid would act. For some of you, this might be an actual child, right? Maybe it's, maybe it's your child. Maybe it's a niece. Maybe it's a nephew. Maybe it's a little kid in the store, right? When you're kind of 
uh, depression shopping for cookies or like whatever it is, right? It's like out of the mouth of babes. Children are, are the wisest speakers that we have. They are the, the most pure form of uh, communication that we have with spirit, right? Because kids don't have any filter. And they're trying to show you this two of cups. And it's like, it's just us. Like, look at us. Like, this is what we should do. It's like a kid when they have a big plan, right? It's like, this is, okay, for, oh, this is what I think that we should do right now. I'm going to have a cup and you're going to get a cup and we're going to look up, look up with the cups. You're like, what the fuck? It's like, it's this, it's really, it's really kind of funny. And as like, I sit in this very childish energy, I immediately feel the high adrenaline, the swooshing. I feel it settle. And I feel it stabilize around you. It's the funny, it's the, whoever this is, if this is a real kid, or if this is your inner child, I like them. I like this energy a lot. My inner child is pleased with this energy. And they're trying to, with this two of cups, like, get our cups, let's look, put them up there. Look, it's going to be a surprise. And it points you right up to the sun energy, which is the happiest card in the deck. This is the rebirth. And so there seems to be something about the fact, Virgo, that you have not been able to perceive that your winter season is over, that spring has actually come. That again, I was saying that this four of coins kind of felt very symbolic of being in a cave, like being in hibernation and almost feeling that melancholy of oh, spring feels like it's never going to come. So I'm just going to sit here in this energy and I'm just going to close my eyes. But there's something about your circadian rhythm. Maybe you should be paying more attention to your sleep schedule. It's been real difficult lately. I know for me particularly, and I got some Virgo placements. Um, but bears have like this natural circadian rhythm. They have this natural instinct that they just know when spring has arrived. It's not like someone comes in and is Mr. Bear, like spring has come, go forage. It's not how it works. They just intuitively, they just know instinctually that spring has come and it's time to transition out of hibernation and go enjoy spring go forage go collect resources go enjoy the change of seasons but there's something about your circadian rhythm or your intuition your instincts that it, it didn't get the ping it didn't get the knock on the door it didn't realize that winter was over that spring had come and because you were sitting in that energy for so long there had to be a bigger force of nature like something straight from the divine like your higher self like a little kid in the grocery store telling you it's gonna be a great day today like there had to be something to kind of like snap you out of it Libra had a little bit of the snap you out of it energy to get you to kind of look up and perceive the shift in the energy around you because you were just a little bit in autopilot or hibernation and there's something about it that is so exciting to you. It's almost like, really? Are you sure? Santa's coming? Santa? Like, it's spring that all of a sudden it, like, kicks you into drive. And I think that might be where some of that motion sickness energy is coming from. Because you go, that's vertigo, right? It's like when you go from sitting and then you stand up and all the blood rushes to your head and you're like, whoa, whoa. And I also, not for nothing, but I just realized that I put on my Green Day shirt today. I put on, like, a cute little outfit. And then I put on like a very professional outfit. I was looking very like, just very professional, like a real business lady. And then I had this moment where I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna put on my Green Day shirt. Like I'm gonna be comfortable. And this is like a shirt that I used to wear like in middle school. I've had this shirt since like seventh grade. I've, I've taken very good care of it, right? And so there is something about that. Like there is something about like this inner child, even like you guys always, you take over my whole life when I do a reading for you. Like I will wake up in a funny mood. Like I will eat a certain kind of food. I will like do my hair or put on a certain shirt and then I'll sit down and do your reading. Oh, this wasn't even my idea. This is Virgo's idea. This is ridiculous. You guys, and sort of, it's funny because this energy is coming to overtake you just in a similar way that your energy has like overtaken my morning. But there's something about going from hibernation to all of a sudden up, at attention, like ready to go. That it, you might experience a little vertigo. Um, you might experience like a little clumsiness or like dizziness or even like nausea. And some of those are ascension symptoms, right? It's kind of like being, it's like being beamed up and like a Star Trek kind of thing. And then all of a sudden you just start rushing toward it. It's like you just want to rush towards the sun it's like 
making a break for it it's like you're making a break for it virgo like all of a sudden you're not stopping you're not asking any questions you're like you the sun's there all right i'm headed for it and it's really funny because you're plowing past the empress and the three of coins this empress it doesn't feel like you this feels like someone else this feels like maybe it's a similar energy to this strength right here it's different than this than this child energy but it feels like maybe an aspect of your higher self or your spirit team, guardian angel, a demon, a deity, whatever you work with, that's your business. But there seems to be someone like on your side, on your team, and they have been putting with this three of pentacles, they've been putting something together. They've been putting the environment that you are running into. They've been putting it together for you. When I pulled this three of coins, it felt like movers, like move in day. But when you get there, it's like the pictures are already on the wall it's all I've moved so much but sometimes it happens like you'll have your mattress or your clothes or something already sent to your place before you get there right and it's kind of like so someone's already had the movers go in someone's already laid the stage someone's already put the people like someone's already put all the pieces there so that way when you get there you already have all the stuff that you need and you do not even realize, it feels like that this energy exists. You're just so excited to just get the hell out of Dodge. You're just breezing right past them, which is sort of why it's like they're looking over their shoulder and they're kind of like musing to themselves. It's sort of just, it's funny for them that you don't even notice them. Like, and they don't, they don't care. It's just, it's, you're making a scene. <laughs> it's just like, you're making a little bit of a scene right now, but it's, they want that. They would rather you do that because you are tapped into the fire like you are tapped into the life force like you you are you're moving now and then that is so exciting it feels like for everyone involved especially you that they're just kind of enjoying watching you run into the ball pit like a little kid so to speak so as they're doing that you fall into this full energy and so now you are like this pure child energy it's like jumping off a diving board. And so I like that you start off in like these very kind of dark, these very heavy, very overly mature energies. And then you slowly become more vulnerable. You slowly brighten up. The layers come off. And then by the time you reach this full card, it's like you are a child again. Like you match the energy of this page of wands. It's like some Benjamin Button stuff that we have going on. It's like you're, you're aging in reverse. It's almost that feeling of... Like, they say that God will give you back the years that you lost. And so I'm wondering if that's a little bit of, like, what the energy might feel like for you. Like, it doesn't matter how old you are. You might just start feeling like you did when you were a kid or feeling like you did when you were in your early 20s, right? And you might start looking a little younger, or like, feeling a little fresher or having a little more pep in your step, right? It's like this Benjamin Button, like, the, the energy... Um, the glow, like the stuff from these years gone past that you feel like you lost, it's like it's all coming back and it's like something about like your speed. You got your speed back up and it's like this jumping off the diving board sort of energy trying to hop directly into whatever is being built for you in this Three of Pentacles, this new place, this new environment, this new energy. And as you jump off, I see you in this Knight of Wands and it's almost like you grab onto like a flagpole and you start climbing up it, which is interesting because if you look at this sun card, there seems to be, I know they're on a swing, but there seems to be like a mirroring between this flagpole, like climbing intentionally up to the sun, to wh wherever this is. Because even if you look at these cards, like the mirroring is right there. It's the rebirth. It's the new place for you. And again, it reminds me of the jungle gyms when it's like moving from the jungle to a jungle gym. It reminds me of uh, like the monkey bars or it's like it's there's it's just funny how it's kind of coming through. And the thing that the sun, the thing that this three of coins, this flagpole you're climbing up, what it all represents is the ten of pentacles. It's sort of like that pot of gold energy um, at the end of the rainbow after you go through like a very long storm is a bit of what it feels like. And the hangman comes out next, which again, it gives us the idea that the whole time it's like, or at least lately, the sun has been right by your head. But because of the direction that you were facing, because you had your head down, because you hadn't peeked it out of the cave, right? Because you were hiding in the corner, you could not 
previously perceived that the season had changed around you and that you had something to be excited about, that you had something to run towards, that you had a reason to smile, that you had a reason to smile. But the last card in your spread is the Ace of Wands. And so it's this aha, it's like this light bulb, this aha moment, this moment of recognition where the lights go on around you and then the lights come on inside of you at the same time. And I see this Ace of Wands and it almost feels like your spine. So maybe this has something with your chakras or like some, something about that. We are doing chakra balancing for December in the Patreon, but there's something about your your posture or your spine or the the circuit of energy that runs through you and all of a sudden it feels like it just bursts like it's just it's this burst of energy it's this burst of activation it's this burst of excitement it's this burst of light that all of a sudden comes out of you when just a few and again it feels like it happens really quickly like your head will spin when just a few moments ago you were frozen solid it's cool. Like, it's a cool reading, Virgo. Like, I really, I like it. I'm glad that I decided to do it. Because initially, I felt like I was going to throw up on a mirror. <laughs> and I was like, there's no way this reading came on. But I'm glad, I'm glad that we did it. Because I think that it's really interesting, right? And, and there is that saying, you know, it's like, God can take you in 10 minutes. Where, like, you couldn't get yourself in 10 years. And I think that it's really kind of special that there is all of this assistance coming in to help pull you, if not a little bit chaotically hear that old timelines collapsing that's that's how i relate sirens and stuff like that it's, it's an emergency you were having you were having an energetic emergency virgo and so there is a lot of you know angel emts kind of coming in to swoop you out of there and once you finally realize it nothing can stop you i think you're gonna be feeling so much better very very shortly so I am going to go and pull a few more cards and do an extended reading for you. If you're interested in your extended reading or your monthly reading for December, those will be the top two links in the description box. I do offer personal readings. If you're interested, my booking information is below. Consider joining our Patreon family. We do host a spiritual development workshop, which is really fun and exciting. The patrons are doing a lot of good work over there. You also have access to all of the extendeds, all of the monthlies, a lot of goodies on Patreon. I love you very much, Virgo. I think I think you're going to be loving life a little bit more very, very soon. Be nice to yourself. Be kind to each other. I'll see you next time.